What's up guys, we're back with another disassembly. Today we're gonna to be taking apart the LG G8. Let's go ahead and take it out of the box. It's a very good looking phone, especially the red color. All right, first thing is take out the SIM tray. All right, now the back has a fair amount of adhesive underneath, so it's gonna be somewhat difficult to pry off, but you're gonna to have to work your way around gently applying heat and prying it off with your plastic pry tool. I already took this apart once, so it's gonna be fairly simple for me. Just get your pry tool in one of the corners and try to use a plastic pry tool so you don't damage the housing or the frame of the phone. All right, so the good thing about this phone is there is no cables attached anywhere underneath, so you don't have to worry about cutting any cables, for example, for the fingerprint reader over here. So you could just pry the back off once you have the adhesive loose. And it just makes contact over here to the pins over here on the board for the fingerprint reader. All right, next you have 14 Phillips screws throughout the phone you have to remove. Go ahead and remove those. All right, once the screws are out, you're going to pry this plastic piece over here that has the wireless charging coil over here. Just pry it up and remove it. Alright, next we're going to disconnect the battery cable located over here. Just pop that up. Now we're going to remove the speaker housing assembly down here. Lift that up. Now let's go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables, starting with the screen cable over here. Now we're gonna disconnect the front facing camera cable. And then we're gonna disconnect this cable over here that goes for the sensors on top. And you got two cables over here you need to disconnect as well. Now we can go ahead and lift up the main board, but be careful, it's still attached to a cable underneath over here, which goes for the charging port. Be careful those cables don't get in the way. Disconnect that cable, lift it up, it'll just pop off. So here's the back side of the main board. You have a thermal pad over here. You have the camera assembly over here, which we're gonna disconnect. There's two cables, one on this side and one on this side. Now, in order to remove the camera assemblies, these two are separate. So you just have to pry it off the board. It's held on with some adhesive underneath. And here's the front side of the board. Let's go ahead and remove this sensors on top for the hand ID. So here's a new nifty feature the LG G8 has with the front facing sensors, the hand ID sensors. And here's a close up of the numbers on the back just in case anyone's curious. All right, so over here, right behind the screen, I believe this is gonna be the motor for that new feature with the screen that gives sound without an earpiece actually being present, no holes in the front. So with the vibrations, it's gonna give you sound on the top part of this screen over here. So it's right here, it's fairly thick. Here's the vibrator motor for the vibration for notifications. Now here's the copper heat pipe underneath the board where the thermal paste touches and basically transfers the heat to the mid frame of the phone. 
Alright, next, in order to remove the battery, there's a strong layer of adhesive all around underneath the battery, which you're going to have to pry up. Good thing is the adhesive is reusable, so you, you can reattach the new battery to the same strip of adhesive. And also, you have a nice area over here that you could stick your pry tool underneath and start working your way in. I already took the battery off once, so it's going to come off easy for me. So here's the battery itself. Next we're going to remove the vibrator motor over here. Now we're going to disconnect the headphone jack down here. Just pop that off. And then it has a Phillips screw over here. Go ahead and remove that screw. And then you can remove the headphone jack. Now in order to remove the charger port, you're going to need to pry it off. It has some adhesive underneath it. And just lift up this microphone over here so you don't tear it. And then lift up the cable from over here. So at this point, you're pretty much left with the frame of the phone. You got the screen attached to the frame, obviously. You have the heat pipe right here, the copper heat pipe. And you got the front facing camera right here. And that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna go ahead and reassemble the phone. First thing, we'll go ahead and put the charger port back in. Now we'll put the headphone jack back on. Put it in its place, screw it down. And then connect it back to the charger port. Board over here. Now we'll put the vibrator motor back in. All right, next you're gonna connect the charger port cable over here back to the bottom side of the board. Alright, once that's connected, seat your board back in, in its place. Alright, next go ahead and connect the cables. We're going to connect the screen cable over here. Next, the front facing camera cable on top. Now we'll go ahead and put the hand ID sensors back in its place and connect that. Next, go ahead and connect these two cables down here, the white and black one. Now we can go ahead and place the battery back in. Press down so the adhesive can reattach itself. We'll go ahead and put the speaker assembly back in its place. Next, go ahead and connect the battery cable back to the main board. Now we're going to put the top plastic assembly with the wireless charging coil back in. Pop it back in its place. Once that's back in, go ahead and screw everything back in place. Okay, now apply some new adhesive around the back of the phone and then reapply your back plate. And then go ahead and power on the phone. And you're done. Easy peasy, yep and easy.